Right here, we have the White Cement Air Jordan 3s, and I was lucky to get these from Hearth. They had them at the shop, and they let me borrow them for the video, so I'm excited to give you guys a first look at this sneaker. As you can see from the outside of the box right here, very similar to the Lost and Found Air Jordan 1s when it comes to the box, giving you that OG vibe with the overall print and colors, but then you kind of got that old school frayed look like these are OG boxes from back in the day, so I like that hit on a classic nostalgic sneaker like this. So now that you guys know a little bit more about the box, let's crack these things open and look at the shoe. Lifting off the lid right here, you have a little card. We've seen this in the past as well when it comes to the Air Jordan 3. Just breaking down all the details of the shoe when it comes to the insoles, the outsoles, the air units, the upper, the materials, everything like that. And they also use that same design aspect when they did on the box with the frayed edges with the white around the ends. They did that same thing right here on the card as well. So it's nice to see that they stayed consistent with the branding and the overall nostalgic vibe when it comes to this shoe. And then next up right here, you got some some elephant paper and then you got the shoe oh you got the shoe so this shoe right here in particular is probably one of the hottest sneakers to ever come out one of the most iconic nostalgic sneakers out there in the game and potentially the sneaker that kept Jordan brand alive when we talk about him wearing these jumping from the free throw line in the dunk contest and all the iconic moments back in 1988 it was crazy to think how this shoe had made such a staple in the game then and is still today in current time considered to be one of the greatest shoes of all time and don't worry we'll have a bigger history lesson in detailed comparisons when we talk about the previous retros from the past so we'll make sure we get in that in a full review video right now I just want to give you guys a quick early look at the shoe the materials the cuts the overall just vibe of the sneaker because these definitely have more of a vintage look to them similar to the lost and found like we just talked about so starting with the bottom of the shoe like we always do as you can see right here you got your classic air jordan 3 bottom and we know on all og air jordan ones they had the nike branding compared to the jordan branding so they stay consistent with that now when it comes to the white area right here it's actually not like a pure white it's more kind of like a sail colored so that gives you kind of more of that old kind of vintage yellowing look to the shoe and honestly i'm not mad at it now going up to the midsoles on this shoe you're going to see similar effects with that as well you got the same color blocking but with the white right here it's actually more of a sail look as well and then you can see that as you get a little bit closer look especially if you look at the color of the midsole compared to the upper right here on the mud guard area so that's also something to take note as well when it comes to seeing this shoe because if you think you're going to get a fresh crispy white pair yes the white leather is going to be crispy and white but you're going to have those kind of older vintage look to the shoe as well at the same time and when it comes to vintage looks on a shoe that's something that some people like and some people don't like so let me know what you guys think when it comes to vintage sneakers down below in the comment section and when i say vintage sneakers i more mean like when it comes to sneakers that are brand new that look like they are vintage and have that old school look with the yellowing and everything like that i know that's been a huge thing over the past few years and it looks like they're continuing to stay with that theme especially on an og model like this now going up to the upper one thing that i really love about this is they stayed consistent with the cut of the sneaker so if you have the fire red threes or some of the newer retro air jordan threes and you see the cut of the tongue or the toe box or it's a lot more slim and the overall cut and shape of the elephant print on the back end and different things like that the height the padding on the back end right here around the ankle area all these things are very, very similar to the Fire Red 3. So that's gonna be something that you will see that's like, okay, that's very similar. Now, one thing I did notice is on these, the Jumpman is a little bit smaller than the Fire Red 3, which again, we'll get into in the comparison videos in the future. But at the end of the day, I think when it comes to recreating the Air Jordan 3 from 1988 to current time now, and rebringing that back with the new tech and the materials and everything that we have in current time, I think they did a really, really good job. And honestly, this is potentially one of the best retros that we could have ever seen come out so far when it comes to retro iterations og style og shape reimagining like they call it reimagining that og style and everything like that so i'm just very very excited about this sneaker overall to say the least now going to the back end of the shoe right here you have the white tab with the black nike air right here classic og branding but on the tab it's going to be that same vibe as well you're going to have more of a sail color tab similar to that midsole like we talked about earlier giving you more of that old vintage look as well now personally i don't have a problem with it i know again like we talked about earlier some people may have a problem with it let me know what you think about the back tab on these down below in the comment section now before we get any farther into the video i got to mention 
mention to you guys, I teamed up with Hearth and we're gonna be giving away either the AMA 4s or the Lost and Found 1s. All you have to do is click on the link down below in the description or pinned in the comment section. Sign up for that on the link and then the winner will be announced on Christmas Day and you will have the option to choose if you want the AMA 4s or the Lost and Found 1s. It's pretty simple, it's very, very easy and that's gonna be pretty much it when it comes to entering for this raffle. We couldn't decide what the sneaker of the year was between these two. Some people say other iterations as well, but at the end of the day, it's up to you to decide and you get to win. So once you win, you can pick and then we'll ship it right out to you in your size. So good luck to everybody. Hit that link down below and let's continue on with this video. So now taking into more aspects of this sneaker that I really love, you got that OG hang tag right here, giving you the Nike Air branding with the orange tag. And then on the inside of the insoles right here, red insole, black Nike Air right there. Back into the tongue, you got the red hit right here. And overall, this is just a very, very clean shoe. I think they did a really good job when it comes to the elephant print as well on these. And this is just, man, it's just so hard to not love this shoe. I feel like there's gonna be a very, very minimal group that doesn't like this shoe. Speaking of that, let me check my IG real quick because I remember I posted a fire of trash the other day and I forgot to check the results. One second. Okay, right here it says 96% of the people chose fire and 4% of the people chose trash. So like I was talking about earlier, that clearly means a lot of people like this shoe and what does that mean when it comes to prices resale how to get the shoe all the different stuff it's naturally just going to be a demand behind the sneaker and you can understand why classic nostalgic iconic og colorway you name it you know it just checks all the things on the list this is going to be a very very dope shoe that a lot of people love and want to go after so with all that being said i'm going to make sure that i get you guys a how to cop video more in-depth looks talk about the classic just the history of this shoe and i'm gonna try to get a couple interviews with a couple people when it comes to this and let me hear their story when it comes to this shoe as well so stay tuned i appreciate you guys as always again don't forget to enter the raffle it's very very simple i'll see you guys in another one all right, y'all, I'm out. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there.